Hi, in this video we're going to take a closer look at the biometric fingerprint reader and overview the demo that's included with the bundle. The first step you want to do is register the plugin. You need to register the plugin before any of the actions or commands will be available to you. In this case, my demo is running in live mode and it assumes that the plugin has been purchased. Step two is to initialize. By clicking this button, it simply tells the plugin to load all included libraries and initialize itself so that it's ready for use. This only has to be done once per FileMaker session. So once you open FileMaker and initialize, you don't need to initialize at any point in the future unless you close FileMaker. One of the main aspects of the biometric fingerprint reader is to enroll users. A user is an individual and when you enroll, you'll be enrolling an individual's finger or fingers. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to enroll a user and give that user an ID of Mark. Now my ID can be either text or numbers. It's just limited to 32 characters. You don't need to display a dialog like this for the user. You could actually take an ID that's from your database already, a unique ID like a record ID, or you could put a username or whatever unique identifier you'd like to use. In this case, I'll use Mark, and I'll go ahead and enroll my left index finger. So I've now enrolled Mark into the system. Let's go ahead and enroll another user. This time we'll put in Mark2. I'll use and enroll my right index finger, but you also have the option of enrolling multiple fingers. So in that same session, I'm going to enroll my right middle finger as well. And you can see that finger 3 has been added to mark 2 and finger 2 has been added to mark 2. You can see now I have two users in the system. By clicking this button, it simply switches the user that the demo is oriented on. So in this case, Mark and the fingers for Mark is index 7, and you can use this key down here to show you the indexes. And then if I view Mark 2, I can see that Mark has finger 2 and 3. This is the area that we store the actual digital fingerprint and we are storing that in a container field in FileMaker. There's another option in the plugin that allows you to get finger indexes. So if I click this button, we present a dialog that shows the user and the fingers that are enrolled for that user. That's a function that may come in handy if you want to find out how many fingers are enrolled for a particular user. In most cases, you would store those right in FileMaker and have them available to you that way. There's also an option to delete a user here. By deleting a user, you're deleting that individual fingerprints for that individual. Here we have an option to delete all users that will delete all users and all fingerprints for those users. Now let's take a look at identifying a user. If you recall, we properly enrolled my left index finger. I'll click identify now and put my left index finger on the reader. And you can see that the demo has identified me as Mark and unlocked the sensitive data that I might not otherwise be able to see. Now let's use another example where I will attempt to identify a finger that is not enrolled in the system. In this case I'll use my left ring finger and you'll see that it says no match found touch fingerprint reader with any enrolled finger so I'll close that now and you'll see that indeed there is no match found and the lock icon will appear identify this time I'll put my right index finger which if you recall was enrolled with mark 2 therefore I do have access to the information so what you protect in FileMaker is entirely up to you. The pass or fail on the identification is derived through a script. So you could protect things like a record 
You could protect things like items within a record. You could protect a certain area of the system completely through a script by way of using this method. There are numerous ways that you can take advantage of pass or fail in this scenario.